come down as we've been hearing. The world conditions are going to be deteriorating. I have to point out that once the snow reaches a truly heavy level, it's starting to become that way now. But even where the roads have been treated, it's difficult for the treatment to keep up. The intensity of snowing uh, road accumulation starts to build up in conditions where we're going to deteriorate. That's a concern as we head to the season on top of that. But reduced visibility of the wind cars are blowing, so it'll make it that much worse. The snow will mix with the and perhaps briefly change the fleet and rain in the city. Uh, once we get beyond the early evening, as milder air tries to come in from off the ocean, but it'll stay all snow to the north and west, particularly west anyway, outside of 495. 6 to 12 inches accumulating in the city, despite that mixing, and more than a foot out beyond 495, less than 6 inches out over the cave where it is already mixed. In some cases, it's changed over to rain. I'm back to weather. It's five wide for 70 BZ. Boston Street break right now. Speaking of rain, it's rain in Chatham, 38 degrees, 38 in Hyannis. Only 22, though, in Worcester, where there is snow, and it is 34, snowing in Boston. 336, we have this major winter storm that is uh, bearing down on New England. Shouldn't even say bearing down, it's already here, and spreading over the region with some heavy snow, some rain over the Cape, some gusty winds, some coastal concerns, all of that. That's the folks you mean, uh, keeping an eye on this storm. You know, it's just that joint. Yeah, I could ask you for it. It's the latest thing. Uh, we have been talking about many uh, times, but there are multiple concerns yeah. with this storm. Hard yeah. to pinpoint, I guess, which yeah. concern is the worst. It just depends on where folks live. Can you go down to, to, to okay. the chat to see if it's recording? The biggest thing is that we're keeping an eye on the uh, yeah. yeah. and the potential for power outages, given the strong wind. Yeah, um, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, difficult and dangerous travel. So we're really encouraging people to be off the roads if they can uh, during the height of the storm. We are dealing with uh, gusty winds over the Cape, and, and that coastal flooding concern, I, I don't think it's supposed to be as bad as some storms we've seen in the past, but that's got to be something you and, uh, of course, the, the cities and towns along the coast are watching for. That's right. It's something we're continuing to monitor at the moment. The forecast looks like minor, what they call minor coastal flooding, which is really just those low-lying shore roads and areas that often flood uh, dur during storms. But hopefully nothing significant from a, a structural perspective or anything like that. But that's something we'll watch. And then also oh, yeah, uh, yeah, as, as the winds yeah. uh, continue to be strong overnight and for any power outages. And, and, uh, yeah, that uh, a lot of this is going to be uh, location, I guess, directed. Uh, it should be a, a slightly yeah. fluffier or, or softer snow as you head well out into the inland. But I uh, could get that heavy snow and that can pace things up and add a little bit of wind on the trees and all of a sudden you got branches coming down. That's right, and combined with wind gusts in the 50 plus mile an hour range, particularly in Cape Ann, Cape Cod, and the islands, uh, from the National Legislative Forecast, we have uh, really something that there is a possibility of power out of the to be prepared to find yes, the yes, yes, yes. 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 Lock in WBZ News Radio with the Hot Hot Radio app. It's absolutely free. If you lose power, you can still listen to it right there on your phone. And don't forget to check out our website for cancellations and more about the storm. WBZNewsRadio.com storm. 348, closing in on the closing bell on Wall Street on a Monday. Andrew O'Day is at Bloomberg, and these are numbers we much rather be seeing more often. <laughs> yeah, new month, new attitude, apparently. Stock index is pressing higher, now up 273. That's almost a percent. NASDAQ up 349, that's closer to 3%. That's a deep 100, up 65, and that's almost 2%. Along with tax shares, the companies in the Silver mining business are rallying as the Reddit fueled retail trades in several stocks last week spread to commodities this week. Silver futures have jumped to eight year highs as everyday traders buy silver in mass, forcing firms which had bet on a drop in silver to buy back in. Google has signed a cloud partnership with Ford, edging out longtime Ford tech partner Microsoft. Vehicles will have navigation screens powered by the Android operating system. Google will collect revenue from cloud services and a license fee for every Ford and Lincoln vehicle sold starting in 2023. Andrew O'Day, Bloomberg Business on WBZ Boston's News Radio. You didn't know that your smart speaker could play the news? You're not very proud, are you? Well, I'm not. Now you know. Tell yours to play WBZ News Radio on iHeartRadio. For more than 130 years, 
through good economic times and bad, Eagle Bank has stood side by side with our community. Especially during times of financial uncertainty, your goal is to keep your money safe and secure. At Eagle Bank, you are during the best of times. The security of your deposits has always been our primary goal. It starts with secure lending practices that have earned Eagle Bank a five-star rating from Bauer Financial. Eagle Bank provides the added benefit of maximum deposit insurance. At Eagle Bank, your deposits are insured not once, but twice.